was kind of worried becoming a professor that I wouldn't be engaged with social movements anymore and this research project has um, really opened up opportunities for me to continue to do work that I really believe in and that I think is important and is really transformative. March started in 2013 and we had this idea that we wanted to do research with uh, the media activists and social movement activists that we were involved with. And one of the reasons is that it's very seldom documented um, radical activism and what specifically media activists are doing. There's a lot of um, theory, but there's not that much empirical evidence, so we wanted to work with people and find a way that we could use research to support social movements and to support media activism. So to do what we wanted to do, we really wanted to challenge some of the uh, traditional ways of doing research and especially the boundaries between the community out there outside of the university and then the researcher being inside the university. And so we decided to form a horizontal collective um, where people would work in the same ways that they do in media activism. So using prefigurative politics, horizontal processes, anti-oppression practices and that kind of thing. So the first thing we did was we decided we should start with the media activists, not with the research. And so we decided to have these radical media mixers where we invited people in different communities across Canada. We asked them what are their challenges and what are their strengths and accomplishments so that we could start asking questions around some of those things. We had the theme of collective memory, so how is media activism used to really document the social movement and provide a, an archive or a living archive. We also focused on uh, anti-oppression practices and intersectionality, so what are people of color, queer and trans, women, anti-colonials, indigenous people, and anti-capitalists doing? The third one that we worked on was resources, and we think of resources as material, but also immaterial or intangible resources, what kinds of things like networking, time, skills, capacities. And so then we did our interviews across Canada. We interviewed 16 people in four different media projects. And uh, then we also did a bunch of interviews globally, mostly in Europe and Latin America, um, in, with 11 countries altogether. Many times when we're writing up our findings, we always think, how do we make these findings available to the community or to media activists? We'll say, do a blog post as well as a more academic article. And sometimes we just do the, the activist side of things and sometimes we just do the academic side of things, but we're trying to find a balance between the two. This summer it's been really exciting that we've kind of come back together as a collective and we have some awesome students from Brazil who are doing some work on the project as well as we've had two students who've been on the project for a long time. Um, we're updating our website, which is looking pretty awesome, I would say. We're also writing a paper uh, and presenting it at a conference on the legacies of indie media. We're also working on a publication on immaterial resources that's going to be in a book called Organizing Equality. We went to a conference at CCA in Vancouver uh, this summer and we presented on digital movements and the second one was in Madrid, Spain uh, at a conference called IAMCR which is the International Association of Media and Communications Research and there we presented on um, some work that we've been doing around structures of alternative media, around horizontalism and some of the different kinds of ways that people organize horizontally, whether it's volunteer or paid or some kind of hybrid between the two. What inspires me in this project most is doing the interviews and workshops and the radical media mixers. So talking to people about what they're doing and seeing how committed people are and how excited they are about the work that they're doing. It's just really nice to connect with people all over the world who are doing this really great work that's, I think, having a really important impact on politics and on people's everyday lives.